Hello. So I've been going through some of my um, videos that have been just sitting in the video folder trying to see if there's anything worth salvaging. And I found these tutorials that I made. These are actually the tutorials that made me start recording videos. And it's kind of funny that I recorded them and then never um, published them or anything. So I've been sitting here just kind of um, editing them. Uh, hopefully they don't seem too weird. It's actually like three different videos that I kind of chopped up and put together. So these are just tips on how to speed up your game and there'll be a second part too because that part ended up being really long and I didn't want this to be like a 40 minute video. So anyway, um, keep in mind this is like the first video that I ever made. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hi, I'm Stormy and I have a blog where I write stories about different games. and um, I know there's probably like hundreds of videos out there about um, how to get Sims 3 to run smoothly and all that. Um, but I started trying to make a post on it. And, you know, I mean, it doesn't look like much what's there, right? But the problem is um, for every single little step that I have there, I'm going to have to take a screenshot of, and then I'm going to have to explain it. So I thought maybe it would be a little bit easier if I just um, did a video. So we'll see. I don't even know if I'm going to actually do anything with this video, but I thought I might. Okay, so um, I did this recording once already, but I kind of botched it up, so I thought I'd do it again. Um, so basically what I want to show you is what they call how to clear your cache. And I don't know exactly why they call it clear your cache, because you're deleting a bunch of different files, but that's what they refer to it as. So when they say clear your cache, this is what you're doing with Sims 3. Um, Sims 4 is completely different. Alrighty, so um, you have different files that you need to delete, and um, so we've got the cast, cast part cache, compositor, sim, social script, any errors that you have you can delete, um, those are probably caused last time I played Bonehilda kept erroring out, so that's probably what that was, and then you have inside your DC cache, missing dpx.idx. And there's also sometimes a dcc.ent, and you can delete that as well if you get it. I very rarely ever see it. In downloads, you can delete any bin files. So sometimes I have more than one, but usually I just have that one. SIGs cache and thumbnails, everything in them can be deleted. Um, so I delete the entire folder. I have read somewhere that you're not supposed to delete the folders, but they get auto-generated when you restart the game, so I'm not really sure what the reasoning is behind that. Now you can delete everything in featured items, or you could do what I did. Right-click on it, go to Properties, and change it to Read Only. That way nothing ever gets added to the featured items um, folder. Uh, you don't want to keep a lot of things into your screenshots, so I usually just drag mine into um, a folder on my desktop before I start the game. Um, you don't want to keep a lot of saves in there. I Usually what I do is I have, like you can see, um, Seasons Twin Brooke back home. That's because she came back home from um, university. And... Um, so I give them a different name depending on what had happened, you know, recently. And let me get that out of the way and get that out of the way. And then I'll show you. Um, so I've got, and that needs to go over on this screen. So what I did basically do is um, after something has, you know, changed i make a new name for the saves and then drag the old ones into the removed saves file and what this allows me to do is let's say i'm like oh man i really need to go back to okay for example i really 
actually did need to do this. Um, I needed to go back to Sunset Valley uh, to start over because I messed up when I started um, university. So I went in and I found my Sunset Valley um, file, put it back in, and start it over again. And this way I have backups. Now, I usually only pick like one of these to back up on a, onto an external. This is just something that goes on my desktop. Eventually I will clear this out because it's going to take up a bunch of memory on my um, hard drive, but that's what I do. And then usually before I start the game each time, which I haven't done for a couple days, oopsie, I pick the most recent of the saves and I back that up in the backups file, which is also, like I said, what goes into the um, external backup. So I just try to back up as often as possible. And as you can see, which I have some, these, these ones can go away. Um, let's see, three, two, one, four, five. All these are extras. Um, I had a problem and I didn't want to overwrite any of these regular files so I just named them something else so it wouldn't overwrite them. Anyway, so I have um, NRAS Saver. So it saves one, two, three, and four for me. And then whenever I save, I save five myself. So I have all these different saves. So let's say you have that error that pops up sometimes i think it's like error 12 and then it makes this um it'll make one of the files that you just recently tried to save it'll make it like sims 3 dot bad instead of a regular file and you just want to delete that i know that there's you know some ways that you can do it without deleting it that's why i've got so many files i save every 15 minutes I'm only going to lose 15 minutes. It's not that big of a deal. I'd rather just delete that dot bad file. I don't know what causes it, but I don't know. Anyway, um, and okay. If you have anything in your world caches, you can delete it. The problem with deleting things from the world cache is that it's going to make things load slower. So sometimes um, if I'm going to be popping from one world to another, like I have um, my baby fever, I have like four or five different worlds that they live in. If I know I'm going to be going to, say, Pangea, I will grab the world cache um, off a folder into and put it in my world caches. <laughs> so that um, when I start Pangea, I don't have to wait for everything in there to load all of the um you know when you go into a building or whatever everything takes forever to load because that's what the cache is basically okay so we went over all of the cache files another thing that i did want to mention really quick when you open origin after you get your um launcher to launch you want to put it into offline mode so the reason that you want to make sure that um, before you go into offline mode, you open the Sims 3 launcher is because sometimes if you start origin, say, bring, you know, play, which gives you the launcher, and then you immediately put origin into offline mode, it won't show your expansions. So that's why I do that. So I go in and now you want to go into offline mode because Origin runs a bunch of things in the background that, especially with Sims 3, you really don't need. There's no reason to have Origin running unless you're using that chat feature, which um, is really an annoying feature, if you ask me, because it pops up constantly, especially if somebody's like getting on and off the game over and over again. It's always popping up and it's getting on the screen and it's really annoying. Um, if you really want to chat with somebody, I'd get like Discord because that's not going to be using so many resources like um, Sims, the, uh, I'm sorry, Origin is for Sims 3. And also you don't want to log in because again, that's going to be using up resources and it's going to be, you know, doing things in the background and you don't want it running in the background. You want as very few things 
running in the background as possible um, because it's all going to be using space in your hard drive that could be used for the game. Okay, now that I've made the extremely loud music go away, hopefully, um, I can continue talking. Yay! Okay, so let's see. Options. Um, you want to disable shop mode. That's loading all kinds of stuff. Um, you don't, you just don't want it to happen. Enable lessons. I mean, you can search lessons if there's something that you really want, but Google's going to bring you much better results. Um, disable memories for sure. The memories take all kinds of stuff. Um, obviously memory get what i did there you know the memories take up memory <laughs> um and i know that the interactive loading screens are super cool you know um and it was it's funny kind of ironic that something they made that was supposed to you know keep us busy and happy while the loading screens took forever to load actually has the opposite effect because the interactive loading screens make it take longer to load <laughs> and you can turn off all those different things in your options now i have everything pretty much turned up as high as it goes because i'm a big baby and i like my game to look really good for my screenshots um so i can't tell you good settings as far as that goes let me start up the load um but there are some really good tutorials on that that I, I i don't know like off the top of my head where they are but there's one that's really good it has um like a side-by-side -side comparison of each different setting like at different levels and um with what they do what the you know meaning of the different settings are and also um what that person who wrote that um article what they suggest for the different settings now the people that do those i think they do more towards videos than like screenshots like i do because i just like things to look a certain way and one thing that that i have noticed is a lot of the different graphic settings they don't really apply as much if you're just like playing inside your house or inside a building or whatever so you're not going to be having to deal with tree detail and mirrors and waters and this and that if you're just sitting inside your house you know with your sim on the inventor's table or whatever um so turning down the graphic settings don't always make that much of a difference now if you're going from one lot to another and doing all kinds of things then yes the graphics are going to slow things down because it's trying to to load all those different lots so it looks good and that's why i have my um lot detail really high right now that is one thing that I sometimes turn down, but it's really high right now because I was taking screenshots um, around town somewhere. I can't remember now, but I wanted the lots behind my Sims to load completely. So that's why I have that up high. But sometimes if, if it is um, lagging a bit, I will turn that one down but a lot of them you also have to restart the computer if or the game or whatever if you're going to be changing the different settings so sometimes that kind of sucks all right so i'm going to stop the recording here um this next part ended up being quite long it goes over the different settings that i use in naras the ways that i um try to prevent the lag and stuff. So, bye.